Welcome to your new kitchen. When you enter the space to your left, you have a white dry erase marker board framed in the burned oak that matches the baseboards. There's a storage bin below where you can place the markers, the eraser, some magnets, any other little items. And you can see the dry erase board is full height, so it's low enough to where the kids can write on the bottom. Yeah, tall enough to where you can place things on here that are out of their reach. But I know you don't want everyone to linger right in this active space. So the whole design is designed to encourage you to move through the space, to get to the breakfast area, and to stay out of this busy area made for cooking and prep. If you look to the right, you'll see a countertop that is the white solid surface, white solid surface backsplash and this backsplash continues all the way up to the lower ceiling. You have a mid-tone of oak for the main cabinets and this picks up on the middle color within the burned oak wood floors. The herringbone pattern encourages you to walk through the rift cut oak which is this horizontal grain that you see coming through, also encourages you to go through the space. And you have these reveals, which are uh, instead of handles, for you to open up the drawers, open up the cabinets, and they wrap around the corner, which also lends to movement and pushing through the space. And over here you have the countertop that wraps around and the backsplash that also extends all the way to the ceiling. This wraparound effect also encourages you to go through the space and gives you additional area to use function to set things on. When you look to the right, you will see an integrated panel warming drawer from Wolf. The integrated panel allows us to put the wood on top so that it matches everything that's there. The only thing you'll see is the handle. So that's a 30 inch warming drawer. Right above that, this box has a panel that lifts up and within that space the countertop continues where you can have a blender and any, any other countertop kitchen appliances that you often use so they can stay in here and be out of sight so you have a nice clean countertop and they're in a designated space. As you move through you'll see the 30 inch double stacked ovens from Blue Star with the yellow front panels and yellow knobs and then you'll also see the two 36 inch refrigerator freezer drawers from Blue Star that match and the dishwasher 24 inch dishwasher that matches over here you have a waterfall solid surface countertop and I'm proposing that the sink be a Silestone XL and that's an integrity sink that sink is solid surface. It's made out of the same material as the countertop so that you have no seams or edges. And that is much better because there's no place for bacteria to collect. As you see, it's essentially one piece. It's manufactured and fused together so that you have no seams. I'm also proposing a professional kitchen faucet. This is one from Kohler that comes in the polished chrome finish which will match the dining table base that's already there as well as uh, be very similar to the polished chrome finish of the Blue Star kitchen appliances. As we move around you'll see the column completely wrapped in the solid surface so this seems as one cohesive piece. You have drawers in the rift cut oak and doors below so you have a lot of storage space kitchen cabinets above the hood from blue star to match that's also in the uh, same yellow finish the bottom of it underneath will actually be stainless steel um, which matches the rest of their appliances you can see here that i'm stopping the upper cabinets just a little bit before the wall while the lower cabinet extends out and again that lends to movement 
moving through the space, making this an active environment, and that the design encourages you to do that subconsciously. The cooktop will actually have some knobs, but the one that we're specifying, but this gives you a good idea. It's still a black, uh, a black countertop, uh, black cooktop. If you look to the right over here, you'll notice a 30 inch steam oven. And then above that, in this space, this panel lifts up just like the other one. And in here you have uh, a warming drawer for cups. It's a cup warming drawer for your mugs. And above that, you have an espresso coffee maker. All you have to do is lift this panel and you get to it, cover it up, and it's out of sight. As you move through the space, you get to the breakfast area, the informal dining area. Over here, the herringbone pattern opens up some more, so it gives it a nice, fresh design. But still, as you can tell, you're encouraged to move through the space the entire time. To your right, you have a nice countertop that you didn't have at the moment. The solid surface continues up the wall, just like the other side. It mirrors the other side of the kitchen. You have drawers and doors below. This is a somewhat shallow counter depth. It goes to the existing walls. And you have uppers all along there. Those are the doors to the exterior, to the patio. And you have your pocket right now for the uh, shades, the roll down shades. If you look through here, we have the dining chairs that we've already ordered from STEM. So these are the chairs that have no VOCs, no toxins, it's completely organic foam. And this is a maple wood, which is very similar to the edge of the existing table, it's a light wood. There are two yellow leather chairs. Uh, the finish is yellow leather from Spinnybeck. And then two that are a blue-green color. And that's also the leather from Spinnybeck. If you look over at the feature wall, you'll see this feature wall is uh, fun and playful. And this entire recessed wall right here is a magnetic whiteboard and these tiles are from a company called Box and each of these tiles are made out of um, wood wool is what it's called it's essentially shredded up wood and there are acoustical panels that are magnetic so you can move these around change the design and they stick to the wall then these are hexagonal wood storage cabinets that would be fixed but play on the design of the box magnets and the acoustical panels are good because in a small space like this especially with hard surfaces you don't want to have a lot of noise and echoing you want something that will help absorb the sound and the, these should help tremendously with that and then these hexagonal cabinets that toy with that same imagery will give you a place to put little plants or tchotchkes, knickknacks, pictures, anything you'd like to place to kind of liven up the space. And the light fixture that I'm showing is a uh, wood lamp that's from 934 Studio. You can buy it on Etsy. And it's essentially wood rings with an Edison light bulb. Very simple, picks up on the design, I think will fit well. So you kind of see everything from the back corner. With the solid surface wrapping the column, and coming straight out gives you a nice modern look 
that allows you to focus on the feature wall and the dining as you can see rather than carrying the reveals through I've stopped them at this edge so that these panels lift up that's a drawer for storage below but they stop so that that movement that I'm encouraging on the other side ends over here gives you a place to sit so it's just a small detail that psychologically affects you And again, you can see here the mirroring where the solid surface goes all the way up to the wall, all the way up to the wall on this side right here with the wood in the center. So it gives you a design, it's highly functional, I think extremely pleasing, a little funky, a little playful, hopefully gives you everything you want. A little twist on mid-century modern with the colored appliances, a little funky with the different colored chairs and shapes and designs organic in nature and colors simple and modern current modern design with a waterfall edge and state-of-the-art appliances let me know what you think thank you